Hey y'all, this is Tyler Blake from TylerBlakeArt.com and I'm just continuing along with the harmless zombification of Tom Cruise. So I've got, it looks like it's just a little bit off frame, but this is where, you know, I'm comfortable here. So I've got my reference picture and I had already done the pencils and started on the inks and I'm just going to be continuing along, uh, mostly with my brush pen for now and I will also be doing a little bit of work with the, uh, Copic multi-liner technical pens too for some of the uh, fine graded detail. I think uh, this time I'm gonna be concentrating on a lot of the darker black areas just to get those blocked in and out of the way. Um, I didn't want to. I I did warm up a little bit with the brush pen. I I didn't really think it was necessary to show that on camera, but um, I I do think that's a a really good idea to spend a minute and warm up with that. And when I do eyebrows, a lot of whether I'm doing pencil or ink or whatever, a lot of the time I like to do the underside of the eyebrow um, either completely black or mostly black, and then I'll leave some skin tone showing through the upper eyebrow, and what that does is it, it just gives it volume and uh, dimension instead of looking just like, you know, like he's wearing makeup and he has painted on eyebrows. That gives it kind of a rounded shape where, um, you know, it, did, it, it gives it more of a three-dimensional look, I, I find, to, to do that. So... Uh, with the brush pen too, I find it easier to go thin to thick with the lines, at least, and have it be controlled. So if I, and it's also easier I find to pull on the stroke than it is to push away or go lateral. I mean, lateral is not too bad, but I, I find overall that I have the most control, uh, for, for the fine details here. So for something like eyebrows or eyelashes. I'll, I'll usually just move the, the page around to suit my need. And then later, might even go in and add some highlights on these. We'll see. There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Right now, I was I was looking at this and something bothered me and I realized that um the eyes look dead, which, you know, he's a zombie, so maybe that's not a bad thing, but they look unanimated instead of reanimated um, and that's because there's no highlight I, I just kind of blacked in the pupils and I haven't done anything with the irises yet so and the highlight is actually one of the last things I would do so I'm just gonna have to live with them looking flat and expressionless for now but uh, I, I kind of felt better when I when I realized that was what it was because I, I was I was thinking like did I make like some major obvious mistake that I'm just missing
And I, I think I talked about this in one of the other earlier versions, but I, I'm not sure because I, I had actually shot a lot more video with this and I was just having problems getting it uploaded to YouTube, so I actually started this whole project over. Um, so if I didn't with hair and, you know, whether it's curly hair, straight hair, dark hair, light hair, whatever I find. And I, I, I it's not like this, this isn't something I figured out on my own. This is something that, uh, a lot of people would, would teach it. I think I might have, I think, I don't remember how he put it, but I think that the one that really got, got it to kind of click for me was Alfonso Dunn on his YouTube channel. He, he has like a lot of great videos on, uh, drawing in general, but, um, he has a, he has a great way of taking things that seem complicated and showing you how to simplify them to where they're manageable. So he's uh, one that I always recommend to people that are asking about good places to learn to improve their drawing. Especially, you know, like those of you, like if, if you're you know, young, you know, if you're in high school or middle school or whatever and you're wanting to learn how to draw, y'all are spoiled. You know, when, when I was in school, uh, it, was, it was before, it was way before YouTube and the internet was just kind of starting to become a thing that, like, some people had access to. And my art teachers, you know, in high school, it, you know, they just didn't know how to teach what I wanted to learn. I, you know, I, at the time I was like, I'm going to be a comic book artist and so I wanted to learn about bone structure and anatomy and muscle groups and all that stuff, and they wanted to teach me how to draw a feeling, you know. And that, that was in, like, a small hick town, and that wasn't even in, like, you know, a, a big city or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, so, sometimes that's the way academic artists are. And, uh, you know, it, it was just, it was really frustrating. So, and I, I uh, kind of flirted with, a local community college, you know, with the idea of going into their art program, and they were hacks, to be honest. So, um, if, but, you know, my point is, there are so many good art teachers on YouTube, like, you got Stan Prokopenko, you have, um, Will Terry and, uh, Jake Parker, you have Alfonso Dunn, um, and th there's a lot of others that I, it, I wouldn't have time to list everybody. And th there's, I mean, like, I, I pay for classes at SVS Learn, which is uh, Jake Parker and Will Terry and some other guys. But they also, you know, they'll, they'll give out some free tips on their YouTube channel. And Alfonso Dunn, you know, he, he has what he does for money, and then he has what he gives away for free. And there, there's a lot of stuff that you can pick up on online now that just, it just wasn't available back then. So, uh y'all be grateful. So, anyway, that's, I'll get off my soapbox and continue with zombifying Tom Cruise. I, I got on that rant because I was gonna say that if you take the hair and just block it into, you know, don't, it's not like I'm gonna do every single strand of hair on anybody's head. Um, except maybe Mr. Clean if I ever do a portrait of him. But, uh, you block it into simple shapes based on value patterns with light and dark or you know like I, I'm working in black and white right now but if you were doing a, a colored image you're still going to start off with your values you know you're, you're still going to start off with your darks and your lights and then add details as you get things blocked in so always start simple and then you can go calm you can make things more complicated as as you go along but don't if if you have a project that you're intimidated by you need to simplify um, I am aware that that rhymes, and I pretty much just made it up. So, just, you know, take, take the biggest chunk of it, break it down into blocks, and get going. And I, I think for, for myself, and probably for a lot of people, hair has, you know, been a big one that people are, you know, nervous about and, and struggle with, because it, it, you know, there's so much detail, if, if you get bogged down in that, there's so much detail and, and things that, you know, just, it just seems like you're never gonna get it to look good, but it's, it's just kind of a trick of mimicking the, the texture and light patterns, so.
It, it occurred to me earlier, too, when I was looking at this and planning for the video here, that, uh, right, you know, and, and I, I think I mentioned before that a lot of the time I just won't be happy with the portrait until it gets almost done. Um, but I, w I was like, you know, I'm not sure. There's something about it where it just doesn't look like Tom Cruise, and that led to the realization that the eyes looked dead, but it kind of reminds me of Mitt Romney. And, you know, for those of you who don't pay attention to politics, he ran against Obama in 2012. Um, if, you know, if, if I did the Great Temples here, I, I don't know. And I, I haven't I haven't seen a picture of him in years, so, you know, maybe I'm way off base, but it just reminds me of that. So, hopefully it'll look more like Tom Cruise when he gets done. Zombie Tom Cruise, at least. What I was saying earlier about not getting bogged down in details, like with, with hair. Looking at the picture, I can go, okay, there's dark, a dark mass here, and then there's like a light hair, and a light hair, and a bunch more dark hairs, and then a light hair, and a couple hundred dark hairs. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go very vague in, in general. And if, if it's an area where there's like one light colored hair and a bunch of dark hair, I'm probably just going to leave it out or add it as a highlight at the end. You know, you'll, you'll drive yourself crazy like that, and it's it's easy to um, lose interest in a project if, if you're just struggling with it so much that it ceases to become fun. So... And it, you know, you, you may or may not be thinking that you want to make a living as an artist, and e either way is fine, but... It, if you're not planning on making a living at it, it should at least be fun, right? If you know if, if it's something that you're pursuing, so don't uh, don't stress yourself out and suck all the fun out of it. There we go. Oh, you know what? I am past my 15 minute limit. So I'm going to stop this now and I'm actually going to have to edit part of that out. So I thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next one.